say Al Jefferson, an impressive effort here today. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. Yes, yeah, sound fundamentals. Lots of patience that led to that efficient scoring effort. Monte and George filling out the perimeter. Young is out there with Jefferson, and it's T in the guard position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And Teague knew that he would be open there. Great patience and vision of the point. You played for some legendary coaches, Chris. What do you think is the most important aspect of being a successful coach in college or the NBA today? Yeah, I don't know if there's one most important, because I think knowledge of the game, I think communicating uh, to your players, uh, yeah, sure. you I think uh, embracing players, huh? making players you better. Back once I, get I think some of the best coaches don't worry about it. for have had the smallest back. of egos, and, and therefore Let's do what you got to do. Wall form, right. So I, I think it takes a lot of different traits to be a great coach uh, in this league, and we've seen some greatness master uh, all the difficult traits in this league. Oh, Jefferson. Thomas, it's a wide open look. No good with the triple. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Damn, right in your face. That one was solid. There's a big difference in the field goal percentages between these two teams here in the second half. <laughs> well, they just look sharper out there compared to their opponents, and it's because of how they are spreading the floor on offense. Down low and stolen by Horford. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Johnson's got the ball, and the wide-open shot from Crowder, and a miss there on the triple. Young passes to Jefferson, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Kelly Olenek checked in for Al Horford. Indiana's shooting their seventh free-throw attempt here. And many college recruiters consider Jefferson to be the number one center coming out of high school back in 2004. But he opted to make the jump directly to the NBA instead. And given his success, it's hard to argue with this decision. Pacers have shot four of seven as a team for the line tonight. Several misses early. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. For Boston, they've gone two of seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements. Yeah, no, and that no. looked good. Thomas got 10. One of the most elusive ball handlers in the league. Thomas lived. And George with the stop. I was in your face. Need two hands for that slam. One will do just fine. You're right. He can save the other hand for the next shot. Crowder kicks to a That is young grabs the miss. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive.
does from players to opposing coaches. Greg Popovich said, I really respect what he does. His team executes. I'll still watch his Butler tape. Trying to learn some stuff, to be honest with you. I praise him these And Popovich, really the godfather of the active coaches right now, D.A. His voice carries certainly a lot of weight in this league. Thank you. Johnson the screen. Bradley kicks to Thomas. That's good from Johnson on the assist by Thomas. Isaiah Thomas got assist number eight here in this one already. Back to Jefferson. And Jefferson throws it down home. Putting on a clinic this quarter. I mean, what a tremendous outburst scoring-wise. Here's Bradley.